what's up everybody I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious sweet potato casserole from scratch this recipe serves up to about four people now all this is is my sweet potato pie recipe without eggs and we top it with a buttery brown sugar cinnamon pecan topping that you're gonna love it is absolutely delicious and it's perfect for the holidays so let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your sweet potato casserole. You will need three large to medium sized sweet potatoes. You also need some sugar, brown sugar, all purpose flour, eight ounces of pecan halves, unsalted butter, evaporated milk, vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. To bake your sweet potato casserole you will need an 8 by 8 inch metal or glass pan and optional if you want you can use a potato peeler. And also for this recipe you will need a food processor to make your topping. And there we have it. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. Here I have three quarts of water into a large pot. We're going to let this come to a boil. Our water is at a boil now. Add your sweet potatoes. We're going to let this boil for 1 hour and 10 minutes. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes now. We're going to check to see if the sweet potatoes are done. So I'm going to pull one of them out. And insert a knife or fork in goes in and out clean. That lets you know that your sweet potatoes are done. Turn your fire off. Here I have an ice water bath. We're going to add our sweet potatoes into this ice water bath. And we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. We've transferred our sweet potatoes onto a chopping board. We're going to peel the sweet potatoes using a butter knife. Now this should be fairly easy to peel. You can basically take your hands and just pull the skin right off. That's how easy it is. We've transferred our sweet potatoes into a medium sized bowl using a potato masher. Mash these sweet potatoes. Once done you should have about between three to three and a half cups of mashed sweet potatoes. To prepare our sweet potato casserole batter we will be using a hand mixer. Now we're going to remove the strings out. We're going to get started by mixing the sweet potatoes. As you can see, the beater blades have caught the strings from the sweet potato. Rinse the beater blades off with water. Now I do have something in my drain to catch all of the sweet potato strings. Repeat this step for about five times or until all of the sweet potato strings have been removed. And this is how it will look. Add 4 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, 1 fourth cup of evaporated milk, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, 
and 1 8 teaspoon of allspice. Mix all your ingredients together until well combined. Now it is important that while you're mixing you want to stop your mixer and scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. And from there continue to mix all your ingredients together. And that is it. Our sweet potato casserole batter is now ready. Now let's get started with our topping. In a food processor, add one one-third cup of pecan halves, two-third cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, one-fourth cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend all your ingredients together for one minute. And this is how it looks when we're done. As you can see, those pecans have been blended down pretty good. It's exactly what we're looking for. Lightly butter the bottom and the sides of your baking pan. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Add your sweet potato casserole batter into your baking pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread your sweet potato casserole batter around your baking pan as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake your pan slightly. Generously sprinkle all of your pecan, cinnamon, brown sugar topping on top of your sweet potato casserole batter. And this is how it looks when we're done. Now it is ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 350 degree oven. Bake for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, remove your sweet potato casserole out of the oven. Let this cool completely before serving. For best results, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool off first and place it into my refrigerator. That way all the flavors can settle and increase overnight. Here's the final presentation. And there you have it. Sweet potato casserole made from scratch. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Oh man, look at this. Oh. Oh man, look at that. Mm. Mm. taste the sweet potato it has a nice sweetness to it along with the flavorings and spices we added 
Then you have that buttery brown sugar cinnamon pecan topping, nice and crunchy. You talk about good. You try this recipe and it'll make you forget about making a sweet potato pie. <laughs> For real, it's, it's, it's really good. So, give the recipe a try. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet potato casserole made by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, you can subscribe to it. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or if you want to donate to the channel, visit www.charliethecookandrews.com. I am also on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash charliethecookandrews. You can like, follow, or contact me on there as well. So, until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.